here's the um, I don't know what you call this really, but the the cable stroke winch off my lugger's boat. Oh gosh, there's like spiders growing in it and everything. It's actually quite wet, so it needs to dry out. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take it apart. So this is a little, almost like a little sleeved bearing. That definitely needs a clean, so we'll be cleaning that up. We might have to get a little wire brush inside there as well. And then we'll give that a little grease. So that's one for the workshop. Then this, you can see how crazy this is. It kind of just gets stuck under. And you can see, oh, this is horrible. Ooh. It's obviously been some kind of spider nest going on in there. Let me get a cloth. I think all the spiders have, yeah, they're all, they're all gone now. But, but let's give that a little clean. Right, okay, so that's now unwinding. But you can see how the belt has just folded over, look. So I'm going to unwind all of this. While we're doing it, we'll just check the other end of this. Whoa, <laughs> nearly. Just check the other end of this is secured in here. Oh yeah, it's secured really well. And you can see the other end of this is sewn really nicely. And then there's a little clasp that keeps that solid. We'll have to make sure we wind this on the right way. I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I can take this over, take this home, and then I'm going to see if I can iron it and hopefully see if then we can rewind it on. Um, but I'm going to leave it out now like this to dry um, before I start thinking about sewing this end up. Let's see if we can give this a little uh, clean up using the Dremel. <laughs> Well, that made light work of that. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna just give this a blast with a WD-40, because I can't, I literally can't get to this inside. Uh, oh yeah, that's beautiful. That's clean up beautifully. <laughs> so it's not like a wheel bearing where you really need to make sure it's in real top notch condition. Um, what we can do is just give that a little Bit of a WD-40 just to stop it corroding now. So that's really done. I need to get a little bit of grease, I think, just pop on the inside of that. So I just got, uh, this is what I use for everything really, marine grease for anything like this. And all we're gonna do is give this a little bit of a grease. It doesn't need to be much really. It, like I say, it doesn't really even need anything to help grease it. it, it really just needs something on there to just stop it corroding more than anything. Uh, but that little bit of grease will, will actually, it will do nothing but help. There we go, and that's that bit done. Awesome, better go and wash my hands now. So I've ironed this. So I have to be careful, I assumed it was nylon, and look, you can see it's took out all the creasing. So now, I'm hoping I get this the right way around, but I'm going to now, so just check which way around that goes. Yeah, it was that way. Yeah, it was that way. So now I'm gonna very carefully this in here so it's nice and flat it's a lot of webbing whoa just got to cut the end there and here's the end so now because this is now lovely and dry we're going to take this over to the sewing machine and get this thing sorted out so I think I'm gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna snip all this out 
um, and I'm going to start all over again um, with this. I think it's just not good enough, is it, that, to be honest with you. So uh, here we go. Right. So I'm just going to move this down a little and we're going to create a bigger sail patch or where, so, sorry not sail, sewing patch. So I'm going to do it about there and I'm going to sew all the way up here. Um, and I think what I've seen is we can do a, we can s basically sew a running stitch and sew a nice box all the way around, maybe do an inner box. And then what I've seen is people do that kind of zigzag and then all the way down on the inside. So I, I think we'll do that. Right, I think we're about there. Just gotta be careful of my little fingers. Let's get, and let's get cracking. <laughs> Should we switch the machine on? <laughs> Always a good idea. See the bolt's just in the way, I can't turn it. Let's see if we can just move this bolt a little like that. That's it, there we go. Right, there we go. And then the way you turn, you just leave the needle in lift the material up and then turn it around and then pop it down. And if you need to, you can do it manually like that, just to get a stitch. I've noticed this, um, sewing machine does not like to go slowly. It's very quick. So you put your foot on the, the little pedal here and it's either on or off. I don't know whether it's supposed to. Oh. I was just, uh, Getting a bit confused there, taking my foot off the pedal. There we go. This is exciting. Right, let's have a little look at that. There we go. So I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can see that in the light. So there's a, there it is. Oh, just another little thread just to do there. Just gonna get a, my little uh, flame lighter here and just see if we very carefully 
melt those, just tidy those up a little bit better. Stop them freeing. That's a bit better than it was before. Okay. So let's move that around now. I mean, ideally, the, maybe the shackle should could be a bit better for this. You know, one with a fatter end. I'll have to have a little look, see if I can find one. But that's how it's gonna kind of sit. Let's make sure that bends out outwards. Then that can go like that. There we go. That looks. There you go, and that is the finished product. I think that's gonna be fine. We will soon find out in any event.